the holidays are here and you know what that means. Lots of cheer and gift giving going on. We all know that it's more of a blessing to give than to receive, but do you ever feel that you've given as much as you can to others? So let's talk about what you can do this holiday season to alleviate this feeling. Welcome to this episode of Making Performance Matter, Translate Strategy into Action with your host, Cindy Allen Stuckey. As a leader, you spend so much of the year achieving results and coaching others, or in other words, taking care of everything and everyone except yourself. But what if at this holiday time, you could give something to your employees and still give something to yourself? The third topic in my leadership series, Great Leader Secrets No One Talks About, is about doing this. Here are seven ideas for gifts that show you you appreciate others and also to increase your personal capacity. First of all, walk around and thank everyone who works on your business. Talk about what they will be doing over the break. You may be surprised to learn something that you never knew about, where they're from, how large your family is, or even what their holiday traditions are. Number two, have at least one heart to heart this week with a peer, your boss, a customer, vendor, or an employee. Who knows, you might hear feedback on yourself. Make sure to thank the other person for this talk. Number three, come up with a list of New Year's resolutions that you want to do next year. Take a somewhat selfish approach and think about the various areas of your life, personal, professional, social, and so on. Now integrate these resolutions into your long-term goals. Number four, embrace your authentic self. Have you ever worked with or known leaders who try too hard? You know the ones, they read the latest book and then they try to emulate the book's advice. The best thing you can do is to simply be the very best that you can be. Number five, develop your own personal advisory board or a sounding board. Every leader needs people who believe in him to help him grow, to push him out of his comfort zone and to provide him with feedback. Number six, unplug. Do I need to say more? Make a commitment to your family about the time you will spend on and off all of your electronic devices. Then stick to it. And finally, tell those you love that you love them. Take the time to slow down and show caring moments with people that you love and treasure. Talk, apologize, forgive, listen. I promise it will be good. Leaders, in order to survive the stress of your daily life, you must learn to balance other people's needs with your own. Taking steps to do this during the holiday season is a great way to get started. Now, I invite you to go to my website for more information on leadership. Thank you for watching Making Performance Matter, Translate Strategy into Action. For more great information, visit makingperformancematter.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.